If you want to take on a leadership role in your organization, there are two statements that's detrimental to your growth and advancement. And before I tell you what they are, I want you to know this is not me being judgmental or trying to categorize people or put them in a box or anything. There is science behind this. There's obviously more than just these two statements, but it's a behavioral pattern I look for that allows me to immediately distinguish a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. And the number one statement is, I already know that. And the number two statement is, this is how we've always done it. As simple as those are, it generates an emotional response that prevents any opportunities to brainstorm, share new ideas, or allow someone to teach you something new. And what I've also noticed is that those who say these phrases usually have a hard time advancing in their careers. I mentioned before that there is a science behind it. If you've never heard of Carol Dweck, I encourage you to watch her TED Talk on the power of believing that you can improve. I'll give you the short version of it. The study was done to compare using the words not yet versus pass or fail as a way to grade students, where the not yet represented the reactions of a growth mindset and the pass or fail represented reactions of a fixed mindset. When scientists monitored the brain activity of those with the fixed mindset, they saw little or no activity on the screen. But when they saw those with a growth mindset, the screen lit up with brain activity. And what they discovered was by using the words not yet, it challenged the students to try again and it stimulated their thinking. Whereas the students who saw an F shut down. If you saw my last video on recognizing a lack of leadership in an organization, I mentioned that learning leadership is not a one and done class you can take. It requires work. Leaders need that learning and improvement tenacity for resilience. We are all going to fall at some point. What makes the difference is how long are you willing to stay down? And how many times are you willing to get up? I believe we are all teachers and there is something to learn from each and every person because just like a fingerprint, we are all unique. I plan on sharing these many insights on the entire syllabus of my leadership curriculum, which I plan to do over the next now 11 weeks. But I promise you, the way I teach the topics would be completely different than anyone else because our experiences in life, where we grew up, and our values makes us all unique, just like that fingerprint. What a growth mindset has done for me is to not worry about competition or what others do. It's why I share abundantly because I understand the unique gift that each and every one of us have. That's why building leaders is so important to me. We need them in the world now more than ever. And you don't need a special title to be a leader, but what you do need is a growth mindset and not a fixed one. You can see me next Tuesday when I share the next insight to my 12 part leadership series. See you then.